The Philippines Department of Social Welfare and Development, Filipino, Kagawaran ng Kagalingan at Pagpapaunlad Panlipanon, abbreviated as DSWD, is the executive department of the Philippine government responsible for the protection of the social welfare of rights of Filipinos and to promote social development. History In 1915, the Public Welfare Board PWB, was created and was tasked to study, coordinate and regulate all government and private entities engaged in social services. In 1921, the PWB was abolished and replaced by the Bureau of Public Welfare under the Department of Public Instruction. On November 1, 1939, Commonwealth Act No. 439 created the Department of Health and Public Welfare and in 1941, the Bureau of Public Welfare officially became a part of the Department of Health and Public Welfare. In addition to coordinating services of all public and private social welfare institutions, the Bureau also managed all public child caring institutions and the provision of child welfare services. In 1947, President Manuel Roxas abolished the Bureau of Public Welfare and created the Social Welfare Commission, under the office of the President, in its place. In 1968, Republic Act 5416, known as the Social Welfare Act of 1968, created the Department of Social Welfare, placing it under the executive branch of government. In 1976, the Department of Social Welfare was renamed Department of Social Services and Development DSSD, through Presidential Decree No. 994. This was signed into law by President Ferdinand E. Marcos and gave the department an accurate institutional identity. On June 2, 1978, the DSSD was renamed Ministry of Social Services and Development MSSD, in line with the change in the form of government. In 1987, the MSSD was reorganized and renamed Department of Social Welfare and Development DSWD, through Executive Order 123, which was signed by President Corazon C. Aquino. Executive Order No. 292, also known as the Revised Administration Code of 1987, established the name, organizational structure and functional areas of responsibility of DSWD and further defined its statutory authority. In 1991, the passage of Republic Act 7160 otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991 effected the devolution of DSWD basic services to local government units. Organizational structure the department is headed by the Secretary of Social Welfare and Development, Philippines, with the following nine undersecretaries and eight assistant secretaries. Undersecretary for General Administration and Support Services Group Undersecretary for Special Concerns Group Undersecretary for Policy and Plans Group Undersecretary for Promotive Operations and Programs Group Undersecretary for Protective Operations and Program Group Undersecretary for Disaster Response Management Group Undersecretary for Support Programs Infrastructure Management Undersecretary for Luzon Affairs Undersecretary for Legislative Liaison Affairs and Special Presidential Directives in the Mindanao Region Assistant Secretary for General Administration and Support Services Group Assistant Secretary for the Office of the Secretary Assistant Secretary for Special Women's and Children's Concerns Assistant Secretary for Special Concerns Group Assistant Secretary for Promotive Programs Assistant Secretary for Finance and Legal Assistant Secretary for Policy and Plans Group in Charge of National Household Targeting Office and Policy Development and Planning Bureau Assistant Secretary for Policy and Plans in Charge of Standards Bureau and Unconditional Cash Transfer UCT, Project Management Office Programs and Services The Pantavit Pamilyang Pilipino Program 
The Pantavit Pamilyang Pilipino Program or 4P to Seconds Conditional Cash Transfer is a human development program that invests in the health and education of poor families, primarily those with children aged 0 to 18. Kalahi CIDSS, NCDDP the Kapit Bisig Laban Sa Kaharapan Comprehensive and Integrated Delivery of Social Services, National Community Driven Development Program Kalahi CIDSS and CDDP, is the community driven development program of the Philippine government implemented through the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Sustainable Livelihood Program the Sustainable Livelihood Program SLP, is a community-based capacity building effort that seeks to improve the program participants' socioeconomic status through two tracks, micro-enterprise development and employment facilitation. List to Hanan. An information management system that identifies who and where the poor are in the country. It is being operated by the National Household Targeting System for Poverty Reduction NHTSPR. Supplemental Feeding Program Provision of food in addition to the regular meals, to target children as part of the DSWD's ECCD program of the government. Disaster Response Operations Life-saving emergency relief and long-term response. RRPTP Recovery and Reintegration Program for Traffic Persons RRTP, is a comprehensive package of programs and services, enhancing the psychosocial and economic needs of the beneficiaries. PAMANA Payapa at Masaganang Pamayanan -A -A -A, aims to improve access of poor communities to basic social services and promote responsive governance. Protective Services Program Provides a range of interventions to individuals, families, and communities in crisis or difficult situations and vulnerable or disaster affected communities. ISWSFN International Social Welfare Services for Filipino Nationals is a program for migrant Filipinos and other overseas Filipino nationals who are in crisis situation and in need of special protection are encouraged to seek assistance in the Philippine embassies in their countries of destination. Residential and non-residential facilities Services rendered in facilities 24-hour that provide alternative family care arrangement to poor, vulnerable and disadvantaged individuals or families in crisis. Adoption and foster care The act of adoption, of permanently placing a minor with a parent or parents other than the birth parents in the Philippines. Gender and development Gender is about relations between men and women, women and women, also between men and men and boys and girls. The GADA's perspective recognizes that gender concerns cut across all areas of development and therefore gender must influence government when it plans, budget for, implements, monitors and evaluates policies, programs and projects for development. Bob. Pilot tested in 2013 and now on its third cycle, the bottom-up budgeting BUB, process is proposed to ensure implementation of priority poverty reduction projects. Secretaries References External links Department of Social Welfare and Development Official Website